My name is Aditya. And I'm Vinjay. We're really honored to be here. The world is truly an awesome place. Just look around you. We have the telephone, the light bulb, cars, and the internet. Now, what do these four amazing inventions all have in common? The answer is fairly simple. Each of these four revolutionary inventions all started from an idea. Someone had a vision to solve a problem. If you think about it, the world has so many problems, big and small, that need to be solved. In fact, if you have thought of an idea yourself to solve such problems, why don't you raise your hand? It can be as simple as a, an app that tells you when you've run out of milk, or as complex as an interplanetary transport system. Wonderful. So you have an idea. Now what? Good question. Well, it's now time to learn as much as you can about how to make your idea a reality. Nine months ago, Vinja and I had a new simple idea to help with a big problem. Tens of thousands of people lose their fingers to accidents each year, and these people find it enormously difficult to go about daily life. So I'm going to start by asking, or I'm going to ask you something. Let's imagine that you're an amputee, and that you're missing some of your fingers. Imagine trying to brush your teeth, or pick up a cup of water, or start a car. Amazing solutions do exist, but they can be really expensive and hard to use. Now, we realized that our idea could help a lot. And in fact, our prototype ended up costing less than $100 and is very user friendly. But when we first had our idea, we didn't really know where to begin. We needed to learn. We needed information. What's the difference between finding information now and doing so 20 years ago? Well, the main difference is that now information is at our fingertips. 20 years ago, finding information looks something like this, pouring through hundreds of books in a library. And today, with the power of the internet, you can just type a few words into Google to find exactly what you want. The internet has also enabled large-scale collaboration People are more than willing to help each other out. It's absolutely incredible how anyone can ask a question on an online message board, and they can get responses from other enthusiasts around the world. Now, 20 years ago, we didn't have access to the information of today. But now, in the age of open innovation, information is easily accessible. Even better, you can collaborate with others to create amazing inventions that are both customizable and low cost. Innovators like us can now learn from what others have created, make our own projects, and then open source them for the world. Because of open innovation, we can stand on the shoulders of others and change the world. After a lot of research and experimentation, we finally made our idea, in Tenth Sense, a reality. So now, for the moment that many of you have been waiting for, our demo. Let's see how intense sense works. Here, plug this in. Plug this in. So the glove has sensors on it that measure the positions of Vinjay's fingers. Imagine that Vinjay was an amputee missing his index and pinky fingers. He wants to try and grab a water bottle. Here's how it works in practice. First, he does so with his healthy fingers. And as you can see, the intelligent glove has predicted the action. And then the glove will send signals to robotic fingers to help him complete the grip and help him with the task. So Intent Sense is customizable. And it can adapt to the needs of every amputee. Here are some possible tasks that you could train it to perform. Now, what you see is the result of a lot of research and hard work. 
And like, just like with any project, we faced a lot of detours and dead ends before we finally made it a reality. We had to try and try again until we succeeded. It took a lot of duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> we ran millions of computer simulations on my laptop in the process frying the poor thing, but this demonstrated that the glove succeeded 96.5% of the time for single finger amputation. We published a paper about our work in an international conference. And following the great cycle of taking and returning, we have open sourced our work for the world to build upon. All of you have ideas. Think about them, play with them, and most importantly, try to make them a reality. Who knows? It could be the start of the next big thing. And in the age of open innovation, the time has never been better for you to innovate. Thank you very much. Thank you.